Okay, today is day 32 of walking at least one mile every day for 32 days in a row. Uh, walking a little bit different area today, so I uh, have a different, uh, different view. So let me put the camera on, we'll get going. bit different part of the neighborhood today somewhere I never walked before ever I don't even know if I've ever driven down this let me start the clock all right put in your guesses I'm gonna do at least 1.15 miles today put in your guesses how long it'll take how far I'll go at least 1.15 like I said I never uh, I don't think I've ever even driven down this street before so be kind of something different I haven't seen before. We'll see what we see today. I always, always see something interesting. So different from the little bit of a walk we do around my neighborhood every day. Got some orange flowers there. They're pretty. Those oh, marigolds. Not sure what those are. Orange. See what's down here. A lot of these uh, these houses. A lot of these houses were built in the 60s. A little, I think they called them track houses, ranch style. All right, today is day. 32. I did the first 30 days and went well, so I'm doing another 30 days. See if I can do another 30 days in a row. It's gorgeous today. A little cool, maybe 62, 63, but <clears throat> it goes to get some rain next week. We'll see how it goes. Get out right now and enjoy it. Boy, this people's yard is beautiful. Look at that yard. Wow, looks perfect. Looks like a green where you putt on. Man, that's a gorgeous yard. Beautiful. Let's see what we see. There's a little squirrel. Went up the other side of the tree, I guess. This is cul-de-sac. I guess you're gonna take me around in a circle. I'll go up this way, see what we see. More of these track homes. Well, write down in the comments what day this is for you if you're playing along and if you've done 10 days in a row or 20 days in a row or trying to do a mile a day every day for 30 days let me know this is day 32 for me or if you're just getting started write down your goal down in the comments if you want to do a, a mile a day every day or mile a day every other day say people with written goals are 10 times more likely to achieve that goal so you heard me say that a few times now and you haven't written it down write it down come back every day write down your progress how many days in a row you've walked how many miles you've gone Big. 
Sounds like somebody's having a party or something. A bunch of kids. Yeah, let's walk down this way. See what's going on, building a house here. Man, it's going to be pretty big. They tore down one of those track homes or something, I guess. I have a feeling we're not going to see too many dogs on this trip. Got to put the over under, I'm going to put it at two and a half. Probably go with the under. See what's down here. See, I've never walked this street before. It's a pretty big house here. The Spanish style. Got a poinsettia out still. Still living since Christmas, probably. Huh. Interesting. Recording this video yesterday was uh, Valentine's Day, but I probably won't have this posted for a couple, three weeks thereafter. I guess it's closer to just uh, St. Patrick's Day just happened, and now we got April Fool's Day coming up. We didn't go out for Valentine's Day, we just stayed in. All the restaurants are always so crowded and it's 7500 bucks an entree, I think. You know, it's triple the prices for Valentine's Day. So. Let me know if you went out for Valentine's Day, you remember. And uh, how much was your dinner? track homes are selling Girl Scout cookies. Seen a lot of those signs up lately. Here's an old car. Let's go take a look at that. What is this? Buick? Not sure. Like it's from the... Oh, it's a Dodge. Ah. I'm not sure. guy doing? Stop it. The Dodge V8. That's factory color. It's from the 60s, I would guess. Let's see what, uh, I never, I don't know what year it is, and I've never seen a car like that before. Dodge, let's see what model of it says on the back. Dodge, oh, oh that's a Charger. Huh. I wonder what year it is. Write down if you know what year that is. It's a Charger. They still make Chargers today. I 
I think they stopped making them for a while and then they brought them back. Now it's a huge muscle car. I don't think it was a didn't look like more like a family car sort of back from this from then when it was originally done in the 60s. Right now I hear that is Dodge Charger. I didn't know they'd been around that long. Doesn't say on the license plate. Sort of like a periwinkle or sky blue. Out there playing the guitar. Somebody there has got a skeleton. This left over from Valentine's Day. It's like a second one I've seen. It's a skeleton with hearts on it. You can see it very well. Interesting. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Love after death or something, I guess. I don't know. Isn't that weird? Go down this street and see what we see. Almost a half a mile in. Here's a... Looks like this house is going to be army green. Well, that seems to be a new color. It's a matte gray is a super popular color for cars and seen a lot of houses that color now. I've seen a few of this army green. These really dull colors are coming back into vogue. The army green. The 65 Mustang I think. Can't see the front of it but you see the back of it right here. Looks like it's on, maybe working on it, trying to get it going again. It doesn't look like it's operable. Maybe. I don't think so. It's 65, I think. So. Got a yellow, yellow front door. It's unusual. Somebody come to visit, just say, look for my yellow front door. Can't miss it. Whoa, this house is black. With a white front? What's up with that? I don't know if I'd like a black house. You know, they, sometimes they paint houses black to keep them off the, the top is black, bottom is white. I know that black houses are hard to see from an aerial view, so sometimes people paint their houses black for that. But I don't think they're trying to hide that house. I think they just like the black. Guy left over a love flag from Valentine's Day. Love on the front door. Pretty house. Unusual for this, uh, unique for this area. Different from all the rest. Oh, there's a unique looking house too. Kind of an odd shape. The car undercover. The car's undercover older. I don't know what that is. Hard to tell. Some type of sports car by the shape of it. I can't really tell what it is. It's a quiet street, I don't think. I've seen a few construction workers, but that's about it. It's got a monkey bars, must have a little kid. Asian. Well, all these cars are covered. I say, uh, Three cars covered in a... Well, what else is that covered? A motorcycle or... Dune buggy? A blue house. It's pretty beachy color. Got a Marines flag. United States Marine Corps. Semper Fi. And a U.S. flag. Well, we 
talked about before you know what it means when you have a flag on your house and if you got a US a Marine Corps flag you can count on it another kind of blue beachy color for house they up here is parked parked their car in their front yard I guess uh, they didn't want to use the driveway the driveway's empty they parked in the front yard huh. Maybe they got another car and they like to pull that in front of the garage, but they just parked that car right in the front yard. Well, let's go back up the street and come back down the other way. Big dog here. First dog. Great Dane, I think. Goodness. Let's see if we catch up to me up here by the tree, maybe. Oh, your dog is so big. Is he friendly? Yes. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Was it Great Dane? Yes. That's a buddy. Friends, they always have good personalities. Look at that. Good boy, huh? It's a big dog. <laughs> nice All right, you too. <laughs> Big dog, great Danes. They usually have good, really good personalities. I think he was more interested in smelling the grass than being petted, though. They're always friendly. Never really see them with uh, aggressive personalities. Like a lot of big dogs are always friendly. It's a little dog you gotta watch out for. You mean? That dog was yesterday. Bark at me. The day before. Little dog, of course, wanted to come at me. Thank goodness he was behind a gate. Somebody else with a point set out. Somebody with three, four big palm trees. Look at those huge palm trees. Wow. I already walked down this street. I'm gonna go back the other way. Not sure if I already walked this way. I'm kind of confused. Different neighborhood. Not sure which way I come back now yeah. walk down here a little bit I know I didn't I we went by this house there yeah, but see what's going on over here loud Walk 
straight down. I know I haven't walked straight down. Walk up this street. Wow, that's a big tree. What is that? A pine tree? Man, is it full? Was it Print that up a lot over the years, you can tell. Wow, there's a pine tree. I don't see many of those around here. Wow, that tree must be a hundred years old. If that tree fell in the house, it'd take the whole house down. It must not have any grass. Look, it doesn't get any sun, so the grass doesn't grow. Yeah, look at the, the trunk on that tree. That tree's got to be a hundred years old. Wow. That's a big tree. No grass because it's shade. Definitely a, a pine tree. Get a little bit better view of it coming back when I get out and turn around here. Pretty. Bigger than the whole block. They've cut the top off of it several times. Ah. A big tree. house has got a gravel front yard and a Christmas wreath. Maybe they're getting ready to, I don't know, that's an Easter wreath I think. Look, they got Easter eggs. I think that's an Easter wreath. Maybe they're getting ready to put down cement here, cement their front yard. Not sure on that one. Yamaha with a scooter and a Honda motorcycle. said I didn't know they still made those I mean they made them that long ago they have them out now they're like uh, big muscle cars that was kind of interesting so you just go back by this huge tree again and that's gonna be about it for today a little bit different part of the neighborhood you can kind of see how big that tree is. It's got to be a hundred years old. Yeah. 
day 32, another mile. One, we're gonna be over 1.15 today. That's what I want to do for this 30 days. At least 1.15 every day. See how it goes. Head back to the car. Yeah, not a ton of cars on the street like a normal where we normally walk is tons and tons of cars so it's a little bit more quiet and we did see that charger though that was interesting it always seems like we see an antique car or unusual car on the trips usually see more dogs but not a lot of people walk their dogs in this part of the neighborhood i guess That's it. If you had a 1.21 in 25 minutes and 32 seconds, you are the winner. Now that's it for this this dry this uh, walk. Come back again tomorrow. It's supposed to be nice again tomorrow. And uh, if you like the channel, subscribe. Bring a friend. Let me know how many days in a row this is that you've walked. Just getting started, and if you want to see some of the other videos, I'll put a link. There's one where we went down to I went down to Hermosa Beach, and that was interesting. And the one time I walked by all those Ferraris and Lamborghinis, and uh, that was good too. A lot of interesting things. Was it Sunday when a car tried to run over me? That was Sunday. Want to watch that one? All right, that's it. See you tomorrow.